Hello, guys. Are you guys ready for uh, your daily dose of peak? Are you guys ready for your daily dose of peak? They announced a new My Hero Academia movie. This is not real, bro. Shut up. This is not fucking real. Stop sending me this shit, dude. It's not. <laughs> Why, is... Why is Michael Sarah Tom Holland? Why is the Michael Sarah fucking Deku, bro? Fucking. Oh my god. You know, all my. All my like, The Rock is all my. I can see that. What the fuck out? We've been timing you for like three times. You just come, you just appear to spam sub. Chatter, you're gonna ruin the emotes. Got you're gonna ru you're gonna ruin the emote chatter. Stop, halt. What you're doing is you're hurting the emote economy. When you one man spam an emote, it makes the emote annoying and you ruin the economy. Enough. All right, guys, who's ready to watch Pick Fiction, the video game? Who is ready to watch Pick Fiction, the video game again? I see. It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? Huh. They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Mm. Or wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. Damn. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? <laughs> Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh, no, nah, but like, there's all these cool apps. <laughs> like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. Damn. You mean games? It, it's not even like games, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? <laughs> um, is that like a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna Feel go and save the, the animation. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Thanks for streaming oh. happy. Uh, I'm gonna move the ass, guys, because I wanna pay attention, sorry. You're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? But thank you for the fucking 10 months, Foggy. Go to the mall, skip in school until hang out at home. Alright, okay, great guys. Alright. 
Chat, what do you guys think? Do we go to the mall? We skip school until lunch or we hang out at home? What do you think? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? One? Fuck it, we go to the mall. Slay! Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... Normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? <laughs> I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying sketchers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking mm. at? You wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. Steal a $10 shirt or steal a CD in 2008? I mean, you wouldn't steal a shirt though. You wouldn't steal a shirt though. Alright, okay, what do you guys think? One or two? What, do you got? what are we thinking? One or two? Two? I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet? Don't you have the songs on your eye touch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to nah. look at your CD collection other than you? Guys who want me bad? See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along... I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Damn. Wait, what is Flaming Lips? Not the real. Shitty. Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, too. I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without dad in front of it. <laughs> oh yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Ew, mm. I don't even think about being old. Yeah, I'd probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you, like, leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it too? Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Yeah, because my mom was telling me about the Zodiac Killer, and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah. It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. You probably say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. Do you think we're crazy for wanting that? No, what? we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. <laughs> totally. Should we leave before we get caught or...? <laughs> yeah, let's go to the Chrome Diner. Okay. <laughs> Since one of the scanners here! Looks like the jig is up, girls. God damn it! Caught over stealing a 1299 CD. Uh -oh. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it? She collects, mm. right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Flare for him to get out of here, make a run for it. Uh... Okay, what do you guys think? One or two? What are we thinking? I'm seeing the same number of one and two. You're just saying one? You, re you, re you really like the food with the cup, really. Well, do you want the truth? Of course. See, we saw you standing guard over there looking so strong. We kind of wanted an excuse to get arrested, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. 
Being bad can have some good payoff sometimes. Uh, is there something you girls would like me to know? Yeah, actually, <laughs> we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Your wife is probably such a bitch when you come home, but we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Well, my wife is a bitch-cunt whore who I'm killing first if I ever get fired. And see, that doesn't scare us off at all. Yeah, you're dangerous. We want you more now. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Top Golf just opened. Fuck Top Golf. Let's go to the Super 8. You're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. <laughs> 34 divided by two, that's, uh, ho hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. So what if we're a little young? No one needs to know. Yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. <laughs> I got a place where I'd really like to take you. Thailand? Downtown. Shit! Over fucking MSI CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, uh -oh. huh? Though I will admit, you both look very mature for 13. 13? And they let you have a gun? <laughs> you can't all be algebra experts. <laughs> what the hell is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. What? Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy? I know. We get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids we know here. Oh, hey! Didn't know you guys had to go here, too. Jeffrey? Is this surprising? No. No, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my god, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? <laughs> uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. R rub against him? Ugh, that's so... Ugh, sorry. Last week we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. A whole lesson? Yeah, is that why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then... I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need to relapse every now and then. Are you peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My Valium ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. What? Yeah, zen's a good ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. I was in the after school gaming club playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and Whoa. uh. You gotta set up for this. Yeah, so I'm playing it and no one else was around, and I just kind of felt like, you know, feeling around down there. Yeah? Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand while the other was still playing. Someone says in the chat, he was Jack and his Daxter. So Jack and Daxter. You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> and you finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? So you're doing it, and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's two separate characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Nice. Uh, yeah. Why would you do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So was this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack too? Uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He's probably the worst one here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. 
I think we're gonna need a distraction. <laughs> no. Rile up with the Rile Potential Stalker, get the six addicts to fight. Wait, uh right. guys, Rile Potential Stalker or get the six addicts to fight? What do you guys think? One or two? What are we thinking? I'm thinking two, right? Huh. Hey Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? Well, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> if you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Damn, not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. <laughs> hey guys, let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last, virgin? <laughs> you had it coming, Jeff. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the ski pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No. No! <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. It's just lust. It's not love. It's just lust. What the fuck? Okay, girls, break it up! Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Really thought I'd seen it all here. I don't want to think about sex for the rest of the month. No, yeah, for sure. God, imagine Dear being God. those girls. For a week, it'd be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like... Put a cigarette out on my neck and lick the burn mark. So you want to try it? No! Fine, whatever. You never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kiss her brother on the lips white. Hello, what? girls. Oh, no! Kissing, are we? Uh, no. It's all right. I fucking hate this guy. Again, not this shit again. Not this shit again. Right, I'm your counselor. You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now, that sounds like it might be name calling. You remember our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are you, um, here? I was informed that you both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting yesterday and just wanted to follow up with you. Oh, no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it then? You really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? I'm certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Teachers are broke, right? I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck. Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? Keep skipping theory class or art class. All right, we got three options. We got three options, gentlemen. What do you guys think? One, two, or three. Art class? What do you guys think? One, two, or three? I think maybe we can keep skipping for now. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Well, yeah, I sure. just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. 
Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there like any sort of meeting behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really like a bad religion fan. I only like maybe like four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's, like, mega fucking cool. Is there, like, a thing with it? Like, a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. It works. No, no, I I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. So that Imagine works. A game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. True. And if he loses, he's gotta like take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't. Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking. Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due, and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. Mm. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. True! salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Mm. Could you pass for pregnant? Why? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. What? How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. How could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit A sandwich? Okay. Oh. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? It's cocaine? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. Uh No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. (laughs) I'll pretend I didn't hear that. What? I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're going to fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? (laughs) What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. (laughs) Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that Mm. why I think it's $200? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. (laughs) All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Uh Uh-oh. Now tell me with who. Use the pressure as an excuse as an excuse or commit charity fraud. What are you guys saying? I say we commit a little, a little charity fraud. I say we commit small amounts of charity fraud. Hell yeah! 
It's a, it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so <laughs> people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical nonprofit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Hmm. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Uh -oh. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. So then that... my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? <laughs> exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. We don't Give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Kyler! Hey. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Holy! Hi, then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee, and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. Tell her so base. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. True. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a Coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym student. Oh, my students. God. We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Uh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> how many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, Dope. money in general. My chemical romance. I can just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to 
free base. Wait, do I have to fucking... I have to click on it? Are you serious? Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh. Uh. Fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. The so teacher, I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? Oh. I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? <laughs> yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. Yeah. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks, with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one what? of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're <laughs> old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. What? Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring mm. some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. What? Okay, so Ziplocs, Are serving spoon, drugs? lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables Chicken Shakeups? Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? <laughs> okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? Bro. I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? Uh -oh. What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? Mm. All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany! Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for! 
Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. No way we're doing drugs. We're making drugs. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. Alright, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are gonna be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? <laughs> I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? <laughs> Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, I, I, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hours sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Nah. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. Hundred bucks in a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize. <laughs> oh, let me get some water. Let me get some water. Let me get some water. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you guys were saying this game was trash. And you guys were saying this game is trash. When in reality, it's a dice of peak, bro. Apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance <laughs> over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different, different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. Damn. I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. <laughs> Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, <laughs> who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. True. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> All right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? 
One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how thought, are we trying to get inside that. out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of oh. the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. What, you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. <laughs> you guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. <laughs> Like what the Christmas. fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my babe hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. Me. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. <laughs> Giving pregnant women two for ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was gonna cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Oh, uh, so you in school or? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch, you wild saying that shit. You wild, you anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah, I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. <laughs> Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? Uh-oh. White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. 
Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No. Just take the money and let me leave. Is it Adam? Hey, fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? <laughs> yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff! Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh shit! A little midnight marketplace here? How no did the cops way. tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. In the... You waited two <laughs> weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's like no options. It's not the loony bit and there's no options at all. Oh my God, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects. The sheets rip easily and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN I mean, reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell like whether they're having yeah. sex or the withdrawing channel, but... from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. Yeah, but the bot channel uh, got a community strike because of uh, the comedy night video. So we can't upload video. Uh, we can't upload bots for like two weeks. <laughs> apparently, we got apparently apparently. Well, what the, the, the what we do on Twitch is perhaps racism on YouTube. But it'll be back. It'll be back at some point. Sure. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken Feel free to click on this subscribe button so you got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit. No tools to get out of it. And they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act mm. like you want to be in jail. Like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? It's get rich or die trying. <laughs> I did what I had to. You're white. <laughs> what? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! What in the fuck? I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. What the fuck? So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but 
what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. The fuck? All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So, compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good. Okay, okay, cool. Well, we got the prison ending, I guess. Well, I guess we got the prison ending. No? We got the prison ending. Now I gotta go for the other endings. Now I gotta go for the other endings, for sure. The FBI couldn't waterboard this information on me. That's enough, I'm going to go kill myself. A gunshot rings on and her first reaction is cool. What the fuck? Please, no more. You, uh, you mean dice of peak. That's what I mean. Guys, be honest with me. Keep it, keep it a stack. Okay, keep it a stack. Will you, if you want to continue playing the game, dice of peak, if you want to stop playing the game, Give me that's enough. <laughs> oh, fucking have the chat just fucking suffering, have the chat having a good time. Like, this so. I wonder if we're gonna get another Kiki K ending. That, that one was pretty fun. <laughs> one guy type Gartic. Now let's go back to the answers. So... So, let's see what happens if we choose depression and excuse, no? Let's go back and see what happens if I use this. About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah, it's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but mm. when I did, I just started cutting myself. <gasps> Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. <sighs> Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? <laughs> Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh, my God. Do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want... <laughs> oh, shit, I left mine at home today, bro. Holy fuck, that guy just straight up, <laughs> that guy was so interested. I don't want to bother anybody, unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, wait. Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think no! I need to go to the classroom's office. Oh, don't I need no. a community no. service sponsor? We can worry about not that later, counselor. just go to the counselor. Not the counselor, okay. no, and, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the chocolate river from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself, right, Mr. Cat? Well... What the fuck? No, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. How's? Well... Oh, Nicole, come oh in. Oh my... Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. God fucking she damn it. Hear? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch. 
much. Nicole, I oh understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation. Feel free to click on the subscribe button see if you got a Twitch Prize very good. Available, Thank huh? you. Now, Nicole, please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Oh my god, Nicole, wait. wait. He's actually what? working? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first I went to class What the fuck I'd am I watching? For Steel's sake, Rachel. I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Mm. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait. What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. <laughs> but are you... okay with... <laughs> oh my god. That... I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant... the other thing? Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. True. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? <laughs> so around here, you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's going to be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white ass high school 10 minutes from the Capitol. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna Feel worry free about to you. click on this subscribe you button really so you got a Twitch so? Prime Oh, hey, Nicole, huh? you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Oh, my Look, God. Hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh, my God, don't. Ari's I have gay. a Neanderthal in the chat. We have an ice yeah. dweller. Fucking hell. In the chat. I Let me get rid of this ice dweller. Mom. Phoenix, thank you for the fucking one one. I want to pay attention to the blood, bro. I'm immersed, man. I'm immersed in the blood. Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is is there like another part to the story or? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. <laughs> All this time I, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And this is the best a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know, hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Autism. Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up <laughs> symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia, good choice. No, no way. I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. <laughs> No shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area's like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or... I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. Listen, guys, I, I don't... I, I don't... Oh, my God. Oh. Anyways, besides the point. Besides the point. Why, like, I feel so invested in the story for some reason. I wanted to say, Ari, 
How proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, <laughs> yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual oh identity. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Left no, 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 no. Transsexuals, for oh, one. Oh, okay. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl, but does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know... Society. <laughs> Society. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's no. That's uh. no. Creates laws, but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls what realize we cooking? should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. <laughs> yeah, but that's not true, right, counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you <laughs> would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the I made this guy. anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Fuck your therapy, tennis pedophile, love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal <laughs> moment and needs her space. He's so weird. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. <laughs> wasn't walking. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen You're you just brushing that. it up like it's whatever. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I... I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. This is... Um... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um... Since we started no. doing this group counseling together, I've actually kinda been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's... It's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. Gay girl. I've known for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. You, um,. Do you like girls, too? I can be homophobic, or I can be a lesbian. They really making me choose. This is like choosing your favorite son. All right, guys. What do you guys think? We go. Would we go for the lesbian route or the or the homophobia route? What are we getting? What are we getting? 
One, do you guys want to see the gay, the gay ending? All right, we can check out the homophobia ending later. Do you want me to? Y yeah. How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It, it is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. Gay son or thought daughter Rachel. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Yeah, Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. Guys. Do you have a car to take us out? Let it be known. Let it be known. This just proves one thing. Like, it's just, like, everyone, this just proves one thing. Everyone, everyone says how this chat's complete trash. But at least we're not, at least we're not homophobic. <laughs> at least we're not homophobic. I mean, shit. I mean, we gotta get ourselves a W at some point. Yeah, my mom's old Camry. And only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just <laughs> manual. <sighs> oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. No way, sex and are we gonna see, are we gonna see sex? Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Yes. Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? <laughs> hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. No! Stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go by Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste this bad? This guy's literally me. <laughs> He's literally me. And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Yes, she has a dark t-shirt. I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? <laughs> Dude, she's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating. Tyler, the, the best character appears once again. The best character appears once again. You know, what are you, special or something? Why do you care? It's hard to hose like you, always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. <laughs> oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay. Eventful. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about this game. Oh. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure. Anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right back. Ugh, disgusting. 
What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Cause hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored. Guys, it's getting too real, it's getting too real, I'll tell you. And ninth time, you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. True. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Damn. I believe her. Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. I, um... Uh-oh. Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say no that. No way! Well, as I'm long as you're abusive. sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you, too. You guys see the new smile? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then, either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, Damn. I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. It's Me too. Fucked. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I don't want to see this ending. I don't want to see this ending. That's enough. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, Dude, so she breaks up to me. Like, some of the endings are like, Wow, that's so funny. Some of the endings are like... Too much, too much. On to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. You if you're her, so Jacob. high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. <laughs> if only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. <laughs> Again, I no! the we had last time the two of you came in here. 
I would what? never want to be mistaken for an what? abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser. Yes, anyway. Nicole, it's been a while since we've chatted. God What's damn going on it, with you? Bro. What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? <laughs> Tell me more. Um, he was in jail and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You, you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another a financial person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? <laughs> Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't... Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was... Uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said mm. in there. Dude, your shirt doesn't see through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but... What he said about how abuse works... It we just gaslighting her now. That's so fucked up. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything There's else in the guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? <laughs> okay. A little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. <laughs> Are you saying you made out with the guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? 
Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, and the water was really nice and warm, and I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? What? Hey, Nicole. Hi. I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh, that's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah, um, Nicole, She's not this a... is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, oh, how they use no. moisturizer. We traumatize her. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. True. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive. You know, funnily enough, you know, funnily enough, I know of a story that was like that, but there was no abuse. But I will go we'll back to my point. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain yeah. to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That's, I don't know. That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. Damn. You ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone, or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for him. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. Damn, what the fuck? That got too real. 
I was so invested in that, Jesus. Dude, this ending got too real, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, like, I, I, I legit got like, you know, that's enough. You know? Yeah, like, this is literally my reaction to like, like, when, when the happy, when the funny, when the funny, the funny crack ending, ooh, ooh, the, the, pre the depression, emotional abuse ending, the despair, bro. Despair, bro. So what happens if we just become homophobic then? <laughs> that sounds so weird. So what happens, so what happens if we get the, the homophobic ending? Make a girl, gay girl cry. Should we try it? I think we should explore every option, no? We should explore, we should explore every option, no? What do you mean, Mikong? You already are! I'm not homophobic, guys. I love gay people. I love gay people. Do you love gay people? I love gay people. We need to get some water. I got water and I got some fuck. I got some. I got some Takis Fuego! Mm -hmm. Dude, am I crazy? Or is this game like. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's such a well written game. It's like. It's like like, I don't care what anyone says. This game is so entertaining. Yeah, it's super edgy. But, like, it has, like, real messages behind, like, you know, fucked up stories. It's, like, wild. But, like, it's not just, like, Lola Mao, 9-11, you know? It's more like... Like, if they will show you the side of a... Like, like, a, like a really fucked up thing. I don't know. I like it. Uh, let's commit. Uh, now let's become homophobic. Oh, this shit's fun. Fun? Why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I... I guess I wasn't thinking. I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know. Anything you want? Anything? Damn. So any depraved ass shit you're just down for? For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, self-esteem. Am I too desperate? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not gonna off yourself over this, are you? Cause if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting me? Sorry, it works with guys, never mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm gonna be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. What? Bitch. So this is the ending we- Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? Yeah, the one with the milkshake song. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was 3 out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. Uh, I know. I tried clicking 9 video. stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. I know, it's so dumb. True. Like maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Are you saying that hating date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. 
I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? Oh, I've no. I've heard of it. My dad made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long, though. What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? <laughs> it's like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. What? But so another movie was... Oh, look who it is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you said. And we heard what you did to Ari. You'll really reject a gay girl, then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here? Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here it must be nice to ignore it. What, are you gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? <laughs> you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing Ari. Damn, that's a lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. And I think it's safe to say the people have spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA <laughs> club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. <laughs> phobic. Come on, man. Am I going crazy here? Yeah, this feels a little over the top. Can you, like, talk to people for me and clear this up? Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari! Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own conclusion. Well, can you tell them to chill out? Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe in college. Dumbest advice ever. Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. As you might be aware, the school's GSA has been petitioning for your immediate expulsion. The fuck's a Was GSA? Was it a shirt? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a gay girl asks me out, I'm just not allowed to reject her? I'm not exactly sure that's what they're saying. The claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. Mm. What do I have to do to prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow that. Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then Channel 4, 5, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit! Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? Slightly better. She stole my- <laughs> homework excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me over first. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling by a stems past her either. Look, it's either write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. Sensitivity retreat? Is that like conversion therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. You have a week to decide. You're excused. Wait, what a waste of time. Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? Your days are numbered, bitch. Holy shit, got a hobby. <laughs> Sucks, don't it? Okay, let's hear your dumbass <gasps> insult. What? Pilot on. I'm a homophobe, right? You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is sheep interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. <gasps> I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know, maybe... The Straight Club? The Straight Club? Shh, it's on the DL, dude. What the hell is the Straight Club? <laughs> Just a place for us straights, you know? A group to avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. Let's I go! Go right through, right Skylar! Yeah, good, huh? More like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real, all right. And you're invited. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, have pizza parties. Just a wholesome get-together. Wholesome, huh? Hundred percent. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck too. It's Straight Club Movie Night. Wow. Straight Club Movie Night. Of Guys, welcome our new member, Nicole. Oh, what's up?
Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? No, nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. So you're in the straight club, Oh huh? my Let's god. Let's not use the word in. Visiting, then. I guess. Why are you in the straight club? Isn't it obvious? Don't make me say it. Well, okay. Maybe it's kind of a long story. It all goes back to when I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. Like video games and anime, for starters. Don't make me say it. And I love <laughs> stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. Oh my but god. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. This Good. looks like a plot from a South Park episode. <laughs> Dude, why is this character just literally me? Except the fact that I'm, you know, attractive. Not a nerd. And successful. But he's literally just me. Yeah, that's what they said too. I saw other kids get bullied for being gay or foreign and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. True. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that surprisingly clicks. Except for one thing. What's right. that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? I Jeffrey really has the same posture as doofus words. <laughs> I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show. But then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's true. called the Redskins tailgate. Uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics, it's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, fellow straights. I brought the movie, Nicole. Of course. Now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, coach? It's not Rambo 3 again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Seen it. I'm leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes it so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in the BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. Oh Rinse, so Rinse, Rinse, Rinse. Rinse. What brought you to the Sorry, straight club the anyway? Some drama, I don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic because she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? <laughs> yeah, that's what they always say. <laughs> so that is, okay, that's gonna be a self alert. Moths clip that shit. That's gonna get us that's gonna be a self alert right there. That's gonna be a self alert. Moths clip that shit. But these freaks won't stop till society's underwater. We should publicly execute those weirdos. Now that's what I expected to hear in a straight club. <laughs> What's your address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out. I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle. I told you I didn't know her fucking address. Kyla, Kyla, calm down. This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, you I'm see? a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Great thinking, coach. Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First a student files, then a drive down 95 where the gas is cheap. Down 95? Wouldn't that take forever? I'm not gonna burn her house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah! Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations. I hate these hobos. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get blamed for this, too. <laughs> Help me out of this shit. Finally, reparations. Where'd everybody go? Maybe I should find something other than being straight. Come on, come on. Try not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. It's actually really bad. 
Oh, we'll see you later. Dude, wait! What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now! We have to stop it! Okay, slow way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's all men. Oh, how are they victims? <laughs> they're jealous of gay pride rallies. That's all I gather. They should be. They're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Cool. So they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh, yeah. Why would they burn her house down? Because they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me, and now they want revenge or something. They were set off, like, instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Because it's a hate crime that I am going to get blamed for. These guys are insane. They watch American History X with the ending cut out. But it's about a racist guy. Isn't cutting it down good? The end's where they learn how to not be racist. Okay, okay, I get it. Except for one little detail. What? Why the fuck did you come here? Call the police! When have the police ever done anything good for us? True. All right, let me get my shoes. I mean, not wrong. Your ex fulfilled like this for three months. Is she already asleep? Ari! Ari! Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently ten feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh, yeah, to burn the house down. Oh. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. What the fuck, still? Marathon. What do you want? It's Marathon. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. What the fuck do you want? You gotta get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. What? Who would set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even mm. funny. You already rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime. You really got to get out of here. Mm. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera. No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Drumline? Come on! What do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Oh my god. Kiss me. Oh, oh easy. My... Not you, herpes fully loaded. I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the <laughs> assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general just a heartless bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole. And I need you bad. Bitch, you need therapy. Okay, but she confessed her love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way! Fuck this bitch! Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. Depression How else poser. is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. What Nicole the lost fuck? five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh... What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? <laughs> I'll get my shoes. No time, get in the car. What the fuck? Remember how being nice lands you in hostage friendships? Well, the fear of being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. And I gotta keep this up for another six and hope she doesn't figure the charade out before graduation. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you wanna watch Heroes? No, I don't wanna watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks! <laughs> Jekka's the only person who's in on it, and every day... See, there's homophobia here, but them burning your house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. <laughs> if a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. So, the okay, so in one ending, 
I'm an abuser, piece of shit. And in the under ending, I get forced into a relationship that I don't want. Man, this fucking sucks. Alright. So I think we finished all that bloodline. Alright guys. So I'm pretty sure... How many endings does this have? Okay, so I'm pretty sure we can, we can check the endings here. There's seven. Only seven. Huh. All right, let's let's, let's all right, it's let's go for the different path. Oh, all right. So Are last time going? we went to the mall, guys. So. Should we skip school until lunch, or hang out at home? What do you think? Home? You guys think three? Alright, we do home then. Now what? You, you wanna watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you gonna do when you're 25 and working at Outback what Steakhouse? What the fuck am I well, watching? School. I would never Rachel, fucking please, work I at can't take it anymore. That doesn't change the fact we're Shut stuck up. here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't wanna watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, this is true, where the fuck did I watch a <laughs> show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in ah, her medicine cabinet. Drugs. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if he ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know, the ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Do a line of smokes? Oh my god. Alright guys, what do you guys want to do? Drugs or we want to smoke cigarettes? What do you guys prefer? I'm assuming we're doing drugs, I guess. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. Pog. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we gonna snort polio meds? Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, what? she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom genes, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. <sighs> this is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. No way. Why does it hit so fast when you start it? Fuck. Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes like an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> How does your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Like, none of their business... Shit, it's really hitting now. Oh yeah, I feel it too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You can say that about any painkiller. You wanna watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. <laughs> we might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you wanna watch Mythbusters so bad? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You wanna try a mystery pill? Uh -oh. I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viked up, you're good. All right, fuck it, line it up. 
Is it good? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, what did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for beta-lock. Beta-lock? It should say what it's for, right? It says, use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. Let yeah, me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How long does your mom to always need these? We don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of the mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, Is you gonna pass die? Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? Ugh, chest pains. One pill left, just gotta get up these stairs. She's dead? The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh shit, hey mom, um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. Mm. I don't have time for excuses, just where's my beta lock? Beta lock, um, what do you need that for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Why is the bottle empty? Uh -oh. My fucking god, uh, Jekka was having a heart attack too. Oh god, everything's getting dark. Call 911! Okay, fuck? mom. Mom? Oh. What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? So, how was the funeral? When is expected. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Jesus! Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Because you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Jesus. Nicole, this might be a weird question, but uh... Did you cry at all after your mom died? No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously Jesus. need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. She doesn't care. Should go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this going to be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Can it be both? I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. Uh, well then, um, I guess theater class now, no? Because last time we did skip skipping, no? Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional nah. stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take mm. her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> So anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. Jesus. One will do a table read exercise, Jesus. the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? True. Yeah. No offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get Damn. why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... Uh... Like what? 
You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. Damn. Uh, group impro or table reading? What do you guys think? Uh, I'm assuming this is where like the show starts ramping up a little bit. So let's go with group impro. Then. So how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario and you play it out and get feedback afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah, it makes sense. So the scene is you're a newlywed husband and wife in right. 1949. Uh -huh. And the wife wants to know what the war was like. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? It was 1949. Everybody was just getting out of the war, or at least knew someone, right? Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. Hey, you seem kind of upset. Is there a thing you want to talk about? Nah, I'm good. Oh, well, do you want to hear about the war? <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. That was the plan. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? Huh. The N-word. <laughs> why would you want to say that? It's 1949, isn't it? Don't we usually say the N-word? Oh, may maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949 is a great year, for us anyway. Uh-huh, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> see what? That different colored family pulling up in a Lincoln? You want to do the honors? What are the honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949, why wouldn't you? Oh, right, um... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, do you want to join the KKK? <laughs> it's normal right now. No? Dude, what the fuck? Megan! What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but... Another no! I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're gonna do this exercise. Yeah, but the situation got kinda... The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N-word. If you do it again, I have the power to fail you for the quarter. All right, so, uh, resume scene. But yeah, honey, should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? N okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N-word as much as possible no. in describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how do we do? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> have a talk with Megan. Shit. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. How? Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, Feel free to got click it? On the Dude, what the fuck so you gotta ever? I just available, told huh? you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me! Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Mm. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject! We're talking about you and your issues right now! Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead! Call me ugly again! No thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie. But work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then Jesus. she won't shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach- Dude, I'm com I, I really want to know how they- Like, of all these people agreed to this drama. Teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. True. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? 
I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face mm. about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm going to fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you're going to drop the class? No, I'm good. I'm going to drop her ass, though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no. I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because mm, you have such a future, right? Surely. Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, True. Do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about schizo. this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, mm. I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, Holy. I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a mm. fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just oh barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for mm. what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to No! Explain. He's gonna abuse the other guy? This sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. <laughs> like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, what? me and Hunter share a science class next period. What? That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza and wait for it to get cold. You know me so well. What does that mean? And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? <laughs> Jeffrey. Fucking what? Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions about my wife <laughs> killing herself. Oh, sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each mm. other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> oh. Well, isn't that kind of harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it. But, uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools, I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like, uh... Yeah, like that. 
But don't worry, I know Megan's no, girlfriend. No, Hunter, don't fall for it, no! Lines. I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor, actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No. Can't say we do. Hunter, stay strong! Don't do it! After acting at school all day, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay. Don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. No! It. The relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know he all the bait. about he manipulative with the bait. relationships. He fell with the bait. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. <laughs> I'll do it. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Uh-oh. Okay, go ahead. Uh-oh. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. <laughs> If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just gonna serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I gonna do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just what? keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But... But what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, 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 and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't what even do the whippets. Fuck? Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well... Okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. Hmm. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. I did yeah, that. I did I that. Guess. I did that. So thanks. I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. Holy. You know world star hip-hop? No, what's that? 
It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? Mm. I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10... 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm he trying to get him? one with his face in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely... You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh... Why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like <laughs> filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! <laughs> Get it away! You Oh my god. Thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why he won't include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. Hmm. So, um... Do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway, who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... Us? What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you. And compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. Why does he have a big... Why does he have a shirt of Chris Pratt? She doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. Hmm. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. True. Hey, no, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like sending you all those pictures. Feel free to click on this subscribe button. See you got Does a need my help over here? What? Yeah, actually, for the. No, we're fine. Just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? <laughs> yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. You didn't send the one. No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Uh, like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions, NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah, and while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and, oh god, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's Dude. the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Uh, seriously? <laughs> it's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can mm. hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? 
Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games. No but shot. also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? Well, I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like what I gotta go. I'll get back on, to you on that, bro. though. What is going just let on? me know by Friday. I don't even know, like... Like, I don't even this know what... This is the first time no! in more than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. A guy shooting come on Uno is not something I thought that I would hear today. <laughs> or ever. Cut the fucking bot, that's enough. <laughs> that's, a, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that... <laughs> oh fucking hell dude oh my god like this this is the worst fucking game ever <laughs> Like, dude, like, this entire game just goes from bo to so to Spawny Bob, do you guys want to play Uno real quick and I can record it and make that my upload tonight? Everyone is Uno Ditch and it came free with your fucking Xbox. I didn't get it. I have all this Xbox. No to man. No, you don't. I bought mine on day one, you fucking tart. Like, this entire... <laughs> Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for I am for fully convinced that this game is part of Since the devs' when? money laundering scheme. This game is so fuck up that I love it. Shut up, Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your mm. prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. <laughs> Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They <laughs> shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. <laughs> Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now... Go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French too and called it's the weird kid Rugrats that fetish and got held after. Like Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. Rugrats. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. While well, he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual <laughs> punishment. What'd you even Dude, say? Am I the only one that when they play this game, it's like, it's like you're brilliant to tell the story. You're like, man, where is the story going? And then, and then... And then you have the fucking council appear every single fucking time for no fucking reason. And he's just, it's just the most awkward shit ever. Like, and it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, like the, go, the show goes from like, hmm, hmm, and it's like, 
Like, I don't want to watch this guy. Like, I don't want to see this guy again. One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password, too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those those. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. I mean, Jesus oh, chill. yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. <laughs> How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? Do you think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing Juicy Couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do wanna do? You know what I wanna do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So All right, hold on, guys. I gotta know. I gotta know. What's your favorite character? I gotta know. I gotta know. What's your favorite character? Is it Nicole? Is it fucking Jessica? Or whatever? Is it Kyler? <laughs> Is it Kyler? Is it fucking Jeffrey, the fucking nerd guy? Is it... Is it Crispy, the fucking artistic guy? Oh... Like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So, playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay, thanks guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. Wait, is she it. into cooking? Oh, you too. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me she's into it. Oh, no. Talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. This oh, guy? dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> they had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. I haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pick. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... Oh, no. Guys. I got him. Got what? You know what? Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh, yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? 
Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday? Busy with the worst shit imaginable? I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. What? Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. What? Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm a girl. What am I going to do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. <laughs> Holy fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. What? Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. Hmm. We're on less than five, guys. Phones off. Let's get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you, too. Mm. I don't have... What are they... Okay. I, I, I guess. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. Oh, what no. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough. <laughs> dude, these endings are dude, these endings are so fucking crazy. What the fuck? All right, we gotta go back then. All right, we gotta go back to, I guess, to table reading, right? That's why I am choosing the life of a wizardry. <clears throat> Let's go to table reading, see what happens. So just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell, uh... What do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start All loving instead of fighting? All she did was act a little annoying. This sucks. That was yeah. unjustified no as fuck. No fight in you, huh? Did you just, did you just click this stream? Like, did you just click this stream like 10 minutes ago? This entire game is fucked. Everything about this game is fucked. Like, do you have any idea how hard it is to say? And hey guys, you know, the Ku Klux Klan ending wasn't as good as the, you know, jihadist ending. But personally speaking, I was a big fan of the suicide ending. You have any idea that me saying that makes complete sense? Like, all oh, these endings are trash. The game's shit. Now we walk to playing the game. Huh, what the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent. Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's JLo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script. Than this? I totally could. About what? About... 
A girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Who the fuck would want to watch that? Her superpower is nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Nah. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. <laughs> we know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just... Wait. Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she Wait, a bitch? it's the same ending. So I'm just doing Wait whatever. Wait a minute. 11 pictures of his dick so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's the same shit. What the fuck is this ending screen? What the hell? Do you care? Did that name anything? I know you... <laughs> what? Okay, I mean, sure. All right. Then Fine. let's see. Okay. So where are we even going? So last time we hanged out, we skipped school until lunch. We went to the mall already. So just hang out at home. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? No, we watch this. This is like a really bad day. No, wait, 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 wait. We watch this. Wait, 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 wait. It's oh God. So we where skip, are you even going? We skip school until lunch then, right? That's the point. This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! <laughs> what, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. <laughs> Can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all the way. Girls, we're on our way to class, oh right? Oh my... Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants well, and the weirdo. He's a normal ecosystems. Guy. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria <laughs> is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, totally. I love being a pedophile. <laughs> There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. God, that was fucking funny. That's so fucking funny. Jesus. That if he didn't. What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? 
Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? Th that makes <laughs> no sense. <laughs> okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah. So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. What? Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone just not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're hell? just like... Fucked up. What the hell is SSRI? Drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being hopeful. Mm. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Wait, everyone's Are you guys here. Buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. What? Oh, shit. I have an option now. Uh... Hiding photo lab or hiding in the co in, in the in the courtyard? All right, what do you guys think? Photo lab? Fo no, the race is going away. This is way better. Why didn't you think of this first? I don't know. I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, the it's not the dark. Plan. It's really red in here. Let's it's like go. The hoe is in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Uh oh. We were just um. Developing pictures. But you're not even in this period. Okay, well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the darkroom to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding a leaf is going to wow Georgetown? Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Right. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. Damn. I'm not putting up with this. I'm going to get the principal, and you guys are going to be expelled for good. Oh, shit. Manipulate her or give her an eating disorder. What do you guys think? One or two? Two? You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? what? You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? I don't have big love handles. Don't be ashamed, right, Jacka? Uh, yeah, um, Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, I gotta go to math now. Math class. You doing good at math? A for the year? A plus, actually. Is the plus for plus size? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Damn. Is that extra cheese at Chipotle necessary? I don't get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. Holy It'd be fuck. so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Black boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, you don't like black guys? Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> I'm not racist! Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. I feel like we just gave her more fuel. Yeah, that might have entirely backfired. Yeah. God, I'm so hungry after doing that. The Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the Cheesy Biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the Cheesy Biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. 
We need to hang out less. We need to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. Jesus Christ. New hiding spot. I couldn't sell a single Addy. It's like Catholic school all over again. <laughs> are we going in circles? Yeah, this does look familiar. There you are! You have a lot oh of Oh my god. To do. Shit, back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why referring to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy PowerPoints. They don't imply they're molesters. Come on, it was an isolated incident. Won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? <laughs> no, but I guess I am. Oh, it's empty. I told you this is a good hiding <laughs> spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the so fuck bad. threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I want to be loved! <laughs> you bullied her into being fucking bulimic! Dude, she was probably already bulimic. <laughs> I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> Oh, man, I'm my fucking side. We told ya, we had nothing to do with this. Well, if we don't get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. God, we gotta change, too. We probably smell like vomit by now. <laughs> yeah, now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how we made a bulimic girl relapse. <laughs> can I have it? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own. So... We already did the entirety of our, okay. So we're, okay, wait, have we done art class? Have we done art class? No, right? No, theory class, we already did that because we, you know, that's Megan shit. So, let's keep skipping, I guess. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey Nicole. You oh no, we've done, this. Oh, we've done this. We've done this. Yeah. We've done this. We've done this. I wonder what the. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going we to we have to go to our class. Figure now. this out on your own. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw a few characters. We're mm -hmm. going to draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper without the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll Tyler. be drawing there. characters. Any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? <laughs> be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest si pudieras hablar. When I met you in the summer. Hey, GM, thank you for the 60 months. Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further <laughs> questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Fucking Tyler. Okay, fuck drawing or actually draw. What do you guys think? One or two. I say I want to actually draw this time. This is going to suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch the office. The office? 
the TV show? Yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. You'll love it. Hey, I like The Office. <laughs> So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Wow. Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. Oh, my God. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Oh, yeah. You'll see. Hmm. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying, too. Jeffrey's just there. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? God, I drew for an hour, and in two days, I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Laurie? Uh, both? Oh, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating on him and... Wait, wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um... I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell uh -oh. you. No, come on. I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. Man. You go ahead and tell me, okay? That was the Jeffrey. UPS man. <laughs> Holy shit. The UPS what? man? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust you. Thank you. She's fucking down? Yeah, he's fucking down. <laughs> what if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. Who invited you? <laughs> me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? Uh, the fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. <laughs> in practice, it was. God, shut up. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. <laughs> Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why are you still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to, like, he, he was kind of going at you. We're not going to fuck either of you. Oh, uh, whatever then. Yeah, no. Um. <laughs> Why do you do that every week? Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? No, I got tired of it. Is so it bad, bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. They have a gay channel. It's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when there's something Girls Gone Wild and Enzai. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, mm. Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final product. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? When it's a mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, another child predator. <laughs> You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? 
Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Unlucky. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, Listen, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. You know Name I mean? one incident. The so, time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? You have two <laughs> options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The MILF window's closing, Mom. Oh, I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my Valium? Top shelf on the left. <laughs> Why do guys say we when they talk about football teams? Hold on. What are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. Kyle's just I there. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. <laughs> you should move when you graduate. I'm... <laughs> so fucking bad. This fucking game is terrible, bro. Like, this whole thing, entire game is just fucking fucked. Fortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. I will now walk around to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, yeah, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean, whatever. Now, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it with the class. If you say so. This is... What is this? Oh, it's a picture of you Why killing you yourself when your wife blows the UPS man. <laughs> what? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lynn handle you. I'm sorry, sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. <laughs> Why does the teacher look like a logic law? Volume left. Expelled? Guess not. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? The fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended indefinitely. Yeah. Indefinitely, meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, Mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know. It's not even your problem. Just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of uh -oh. tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. 
Pack your shit, get out of my house. Go drink some wine, you're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Like, come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it! God damn it. Hurry up, I texted like five minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's Feel covered in dry ends hot, but, yeah. but you see we got a Twitch Prime available, huh? Can you sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch, tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Oh my well, God. you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. That'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, what? so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wonder which mall has the softest benches. Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's Kyler. got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. Basically an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, I think I already have one of those. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You have the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. That's yeah, not this true. is good to hear, because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns oh, to sell. No. You know what I meant. Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Oh, have you no. ever thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110, here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate the homeless. Okay. <laughs> Like, bro, fucking Christ, man. Fucking Christ. Seriously, like, a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. <laughs> yeah, but that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping in a meat grinder so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you, like, an addict? You could say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus Christ. What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. Okay, such I an idiot. Something out. Dude, he's such a work at dying DVD store start your own car wash. Ah. Uh... Probably start my own car wash. I wonder where that where that goes. In a hardware store alone. Now I know how it feels to be racist. Oh, what? Nicole. Uh oh wait, it's not awkward. Uh, what's awkward? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not my president. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. Dude, I'm out of high school. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. True. Are you even- You're a whore. 
Excuse me? I have a boyfriend and a purity ring. For real? How do I get one? A little late for you. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. Holy. I don't need to take this. I'm on the honor roll, something you'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Are you threatening me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Cokehead slut! And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. Hand wash for only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. With that sponge, fuck the homeless. You drive a Corolla, what are you worried about? <laughs> Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look, I mean, yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, 300 horsepower. Not to brag. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You want to take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> Since when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? <laughs> I gotta find a new spot. <laughs> Holy fuck. Teachers are charitable, <laughs> right? Damn, you went 60 and a 10. Oh, hey, sweetie. What oh you doing here on the God. Saturday? I'm doing a car wash. Are you sure you're allowed to do that at school without staff supervision? I'm a student here. It's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write-off. What? How is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. Wow, so you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen, then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? Years in prison at this rate. <laughs> Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is this true? I didn't get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well, I'll report you for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh... Well, well, maybe we could just forget about all this. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. No, actually, as I recall, you were offering him a topless car nah. wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Who's the whore now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. Jesus God, bitches. My sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. How about Dirty Little Rental? Little slutty. All right, what about Pierced Princess? Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX Pierced Princess XX. It's available. There you go. Damn, you went from, like, hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that... When you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people against your will. So who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his name? Uh, Cream Pie Casanova 420. <laughs> yeah, I see him here. Added. So when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. God, this is sketchy. I guess if one of them kills me, it'll make my mom mad. What? 
you know, for two weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What, do you think everybody homeless wears a barrel with suspenders? <laughs> no, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit in Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, yeah. What the fuck? I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a whore going? Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Money for sex? On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. So, what are the guys like? What are the fuck? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What, is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending on the guy, you get this much wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not free if you're doing favors for them. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing what? this because you're homeless. For real? What I'm saying is being a regular hoe for actual cash would be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. I can't beg sober. I can't starve sober. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, which is the last place you want to be sober in. I guess. It's just a month ago I couldn't imagine what you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. I mean, that's kind of true. Are you trying to guilt me right now? I don't need to try. I gave you fruit roll-ups. What do you want from me? <laughs> this is so much easier than phone my space. Let's see. I can only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me to get me through it. Also, please keep this to yourself. I have a high profile career and don't want this getting around. High profile means rich. Oh, Feel free to click on this subscribe button see if you got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? But I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed that, to that, use MySpace on the library computers. Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why can't we use MySpace? It's not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? <laughs> rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? But I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy wearing them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're like really distinctive in a hot way. You could like be in Playboy with a quadratic formula what? tramp stamp. Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Christ, whatever. Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So, how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Right. Okay, that camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player. Oh, it's gonna Steve be Jobs, the fucking teacher. Or the guy who invented Adderall. It's gonna be the teacher. Oh, I think that's him. It's so dark. It's he probably can't even teacher, recognize me. Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. What the fuck? 
You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori. Oh, God. You work at a school and you're on that part of MySpace? Uh, Nicole, please don't. Oh, no. That's why your wife left you. You kept paying for ass on the internet. Emily, come out here. Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were going to be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses. Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been doing this? Girls, please. I'm just very anxious. I popped three Zans, and I'm still freaking out. How do you think I feel? No, come on. Let, let's work something out here. Like what? No, fuck that. This dude got me expelled. He ruined my life. I'm sorry, Nicole. Just... Please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand each. But on a teacher's salary and my house uh -oh. payment. Uh -oh. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise. Wait, we're going to get murdered. Not tell anyone. Oh, for sure. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell. Uh, we're going to get murdered. We're going to get murdered. You know, damn well we told after we got the money. I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. My mom got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything just kind of worked out. What? Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Jekka was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. Alright, shit, damn. <laughs> I mean, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. True. <sighs> All right, we got two more endings. We got two more endings. So So we should probably work at the DVD store then, right? Okay, so welcome to FYE. I thought it was Phi. Uh, no. FYE, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly, I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school together. Do we? I don't think we've properly met. Are you fucking with me? Okay, Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but Most. not in front of the customers. So, first training question, what does FYE stand for? For your excitement? Try again. For your ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. What? For your entertainment? Good. But not only are the products for the customer's entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you wanna sell that rewards program. Is that optional? Sell it once a month or else you're fired. Oh, and after hours, am I allowed to sleep in the break room? I mean, I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night. Even the days I'm not working, I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want then, go-getter. And do you drug I'm test? Sleep in the no, it's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. Glad to hear. Let's go out on the floor so I can show you how it's done. Oh, no. Okay, we're just opening, so some customers are gonna show soon. Remember the four steps to the register? Greet, compliment, help, entertain. Oh my god, good memory. I try, because I have to now. No, oh, wait, this customer, guy. Watch this. Hey, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Oh, yeah, hey. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. Uh, yeah, most people were kind of down on this Guns N' Roses. Really? I thought it was even better than the first movie. M movie? So you looking for anything <laughs> in particular? Uh, some DVD box sets for a road trip. Oh, yeah. Collections are right over here. But you gotta pick the right one or you're in for a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Oh, man. Sorry to hear. What a mistake. <laughs> and the difference between this and whoring myself out on MySpace is... I wonder if this place has anime. <gasps> Nicole? Hi. Welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way... 
nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you don't look like a regular rapist. Thanks. So are you looking for anything? Well, actually, I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. Um, do you have any? No, we don't carry anime, so sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed till you were eight. What? You're just saying that because of my breast milk fetish. Oh, now you really have to leave. <laughs> but, but... Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. My mom got it for me at Target. That's really hot. What brings you here today? Anime. So, we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. Oh, okay. I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? Uh-oh. Okay, I gotta redo. That was a psycho customer. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. Yeah, but you didn't see the other weird shit. Yeah, good luck. Oh, shit. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, wait, so it's the same oh, ending. Oh, shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be so somewhere? It's the same ending, I don't much. need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Wait, I think my game crashed. Uh-oh. No way the game crashed. Bo? It died of death. It died of death. Okay, but like, okay, if those things, if those, if those two things lead to the by same the ending. Computer. So, if those two things lead, lead to the same ending, so. What, what, what doesn't lead to the same ending? You think maybe not drawing? Why am I playing this? It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Oh, wait. Go. Hey. I'm in here. Continue. It's funny when a girl... So I'm oh, pretty God. sure... Where are you uh, even going? We go to the you mall. know what? Pick for me, Nicole. So sure. Literally anywhere but here. Someone who butters Mark. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This, might be the, this might be the end of the ending. Hold on. It's funny when a girl... Shut up. Um... <laughs> Fine. To the mall. You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out. My mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Tiny yeah, it's like shirt. 80% of dropouts. <laughs> like... I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now, what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large? Damn, that's the one size she wears, too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you, bitches. I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. Okay, grab the small. Let's go. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. What? How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean, learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught? We can't leave now, that was such a rush! Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear yourself? Yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter mm. and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Sarku Japan, or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here, come on. Oh? Oh god, I ate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. <laughs> Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? You think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. 
I don't care either. Weird. Oh, Strody. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy oh. Adderall. But he has to, like, support himself with that. Yeah. Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Such Since when do you, of all people, worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy, because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off, because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. What? That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. You're not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a oh busy Oh my morning. god, the fucking yeah, teacher. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking huh? bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me? Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so <laughs> sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Depression, beauty party, lie about having AIDS. Well, I guess I'm gonna lie about having AIDS. I AIDS, I guess. Uh, okay, you're gonna want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse <laughs> told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... like the Springfield Clinic? And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties with homeless people. What? Homeless swinger parties. Yeah. And it's TMI, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex in general fetish. Small world, one of my... 30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh... I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled. Uh-oh. This sucks. Chat on what size of do you think the creator was on? This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can Aww. all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but now I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was what supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? <laughs> Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a <laughs> porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? <laughs> 
Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? About the Saturday thing? Yeah, I was almost late filling it out. Like, it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what <laughs> I was gonna say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? AIDS that didn't happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? Oh my god, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Bye. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I, I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? Uh, no, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? Are you a human text message? Um, uh, Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? So, the only thing that we haven't done is the art class and not drawing. Except, so I guess we should do that. If there are no further bitch, you do that shit. Feel free to click Excuse on this me. Right, you you I have this question. Drawing during one of my Who would die falling down the stairs? Newborns or the elderly? Probably both. But probably more the probably the elderly more. I think it was 50 months though. Sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking mm. college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? They'd rather see an if A you and both easy down class at the same an... time, who would die first? Your mother. A hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> Damn. Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Oh, man. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record. Don't be jealous. No. You're on your final warning, Nicole. Oh, final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class though. and not insult faculty. So? No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Oh Nicole, my God. don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have what alternative learning fuck? programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. Really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you, the classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. We'll see about that. Again, final warning. I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh-huh. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just changed so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act? Have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? Well, hey! You're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what? what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite, second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things. But one day, yes. 
Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Who, who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends, I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. But I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. Damn. No, I was extra mean to get written up so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a- Just stop there. <laughs> Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Yeah. That's really good. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, oh. kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. I mean... You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. Mm. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. What the fuck? I should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not gonna write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve Surely. this through a dialogue. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? <laughs> uh, because our government hates women. Excuse Bro. me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. <laughs> We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principle. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I can sit with you if you want. No, fuck off! You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. What? Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. <laughs> See? He's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with ya. So, are you writing me up, or...? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but 
I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, <laughs> Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. Good news, what Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. No Mom, way. you get eight alimony checks a month. Why the fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job in catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Set. Let's not read into it. I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my <laughs> moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know, took them long enough. No, what the fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. But weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm gonna go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. <laughs> Jacko is freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Hey, you Kyla. got remedial English too? Wait, I can't just take more English? of this. I thought all my classes would be here. No, nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. <laughs> what was that last part? I s- <laughs> End my life! <laughs> this guy is so retarded. He thinks the Holocaust didn't happen, then he just fucking said, it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My honest reaction with Tyler a piece in the scene. Said, I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. I'm Paul's lamb, Coke. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. So this is remedial classes. <laughs> all right, time to start. I want to see you all in your assigned seats. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Whoa, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Ms. Ames. What oh shall we God, call Ms. you? Ames. Uh, so? Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one ear bud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge caravan, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? <laughs> Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African-American community. 
You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double-spaced, and feature a variety of citations of mm. proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing the slang? I might too, it's okay. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away Kyler. from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Kyler, was that a negative remark? No, I just no, yes, no. Okay. It wasn't even negative. How's calling some bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. <laughs> what a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. <laughs> You're not covered in ketchup, though. <laughs> they don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Mm. Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No, bitch. Quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the beltway, they don't care at all. What the fuck is that C? No, if only I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get high on cough medicine. What? Like, we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 10.30. Oh, cool. This not. way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send mm. us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Well, where do you wanna go? I don't know. Out? Around? Mm. I got a prescription to pick up. We could go do that. Do that as in go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't do that with Sarah Quell. It's not a fun high. Oh. So what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed her tires. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But you actually love him. Yeah. No. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. Do something evil with the essay is skip school with a violent alt girl. Uh What do you guys think? One or two? What are we thinking? Two? One? I'm seeing a lot of, uh... Let's, let's, let's see what the robot says. I'm not going to. Fuck it. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Real. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, but Ooh. all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottle openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But is first, it, we gotta stop by my locker. Another lesson. Yeah, ending? sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. Feel free to click what? on this subscribe button so you got a Twitch Prime sub available. Yo, huh? hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn Yo, it. Is there a reason someone. you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. This fucking guy is so annoying. Free spirited is actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like. I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. We just killed yeah, exactly. that guy. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana's a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. What? This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? You don't? <laughs> no, I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30, school's been over. Wow. Time is, like, automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is, like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze. Like, Blaziken the Pokemon? What? Pikachu's a Pokemon? What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. Y you're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. How? After the way he just talked to us, me neither. Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? Come on, I, I don't so. want- That'd be good. Let him be happy! In, like, Let him be happy! date sort of way? Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're Let really nice. Let him be happy! Oh, girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um... Oh, look at this! No, this is please! Jerk off, no, 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 no! Oh. 
Okay. What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. What? what, what? I, is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? 493? You told me that exactly. That Pokemon number yesterday! Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them! Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh no! You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go! What the? Karen, no! Come back! I feel... Jeffrey, no! ...better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. That's enough, that's enough. But yeah, that was productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? That's enough, man. I saw, I saw, you know, lesbian abuse. I saw the KKK. But watching Jeffrey lose his only chance to have a woman, dude, that's enough to kill a man, you know? Enough to take down a bear. Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know, are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my God. Tell me or your friend has to go home. Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just- how can you be so idiotic? Yeah, uh, it was actually private. kinda smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, cause what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof you shouldn't worry. Oh shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, cause we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. My sister watches Grey's Why Anatomy too. She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's the that's most a... white woman thing ever. Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily like the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this bad shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours Biker shouldn't either. Yeah, sucks. I got you, that's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. What? How do I do this paper, dude? There's gotta be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Oh Ms. my Ames? lord. What is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. So we were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards and everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could Dude, we be excused to the restroom? She has a since when do you of a ask? fucking teddy well, bear shooting Well, I just himself. had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama <sighs> last summer. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the... 
Cat in the Hat live action movie. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses the line. Bitch, what line? Exactly. Miss Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity (laughs) ring, Jonas sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo, you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. What the fuck is going on? Really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. What was the idea, by the way? (sighs) I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. We're ditching again. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. I think I'm gonna get gonna killed. Go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't no? catch us, right? Because you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C's in the line of park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't get a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is gonna get weirdly attached to you and snap as Uh-oh. soon as you get tired of her. Am I gonna well, get I'm killed? I'm tired of her now, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on, but why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. What? Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. Where is this going? I'm gonna get killed. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Am I gonna get killed? Wow. Guys? Uh, what's wrong? I don't feel so good. Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh... Damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. No yeah, he way. fucked all this shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin? May as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Uh-oh. Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan of our school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some um... bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. 
We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and- A mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you what? backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Voices where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything what you want. Is awesome. Going on? You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. <laughs> And that is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. It was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, All work is sex work under it. I met the crying uh, front of the class. What? This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead when you're ready. No warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and mm. made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole-ass poser. <laughs> and why's that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about Storytelling, right? I'm gonna kill myself. But movies have stories too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. The poetry's linked to the poet, good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around, lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hummerway, the Hemingway, fuck? whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C plus. That's it? 
Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community, have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? It's honestly super humbling when the trashiest girl you know, probably coked out of her mind, says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. What? I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was just diluted Holy enough thing. to where I didn't die. I lived. Can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. That's good. I think. Well? We have one last, me one last ending, I guess. We have one last ending. We have one last ending. So I'm assuming is do something evil with the essay is the next thing, I think. I kind of want to, but I just can't right now. I told you the papers don't need to be good. They just need to be done. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What, so you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting. I'm plotting heavy. I want to write something that All gets the me the All the people watching your stream are traumatized? Traumatized for what, losers? Let's face it. Let's face it. You, you, there's, 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 there's two types of people right now in this chat. Either you think this game is peak as fuck and it's funny as hell, or you think this game is weird as hell, but you're just watching because you think it's so really weird that it's entertaining for you. You know? You know what, guys? The, the most important part about this, this game is the fact that like, you have to understand that it's about depression suicide about how bad things are like for example you're not being twitch prime to my youtube channel do you know that with a twitch prime you can subscribe to your favorite trip for free and get absolutely no ads that is right ladies and gentlemen destroys <laughs> her reputation this sounds like this game makes me effort. want to take how would you even do that everybody has biases and when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. Okay, like if you ha if you have to say you okay if you have to if you have to rate your experience in this game with just one Twitch emote, what would it be? Please tell me this is the last day of this game. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. This is the last game of the. Why is everyone spamming the 2,000 yard stare? <laughs> Feel free this to game just this reminds me of my high school experience in the Midwest. I'm home. Yo, flip side, this was sick. Mr. Beast! No way. Anonymous gifted with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, bro. Much love, man. Appreciate you. B, 
And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rap music, too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, shit. Yeah, she always says it as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm Perk 10, anyway. I just bought a Perk 10, Perk 30, I just bought a Perk 30, a Perk 60, I just bought two Perk 30s. Seriously? Your mom's not gonna bitch about it or anything? The fuck? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? <laughs> These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Not a big fan, huh? College is a good I won't job. lecture you on intellectually Kyler. stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh, so... I wish it was like a diet episode of Kyler. What angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows, studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. The I have fuck? more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now? And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Damn. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You wanna meet her? I'd love to. Cool, cause she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you wanna meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess! Well, she's a mess too, it's a perfect match. Oh my god, every little comment Wait, who's just this? back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come! Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head huh? to my room. Nicole, you're not gonna introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What, I can't even know her name? Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, so we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person Whoa! for a non This teenager is it's more race than freeze at the police fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations I'm at the mall sometimes. Whoa. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. Damn. Are you going to see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? <laughs> no, the other other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah, oh so are you going to see it? No, why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's like different. My cousin is not ugly. It. Are we talking about me? No, Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jacko said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? 
Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch, and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. <laughs> Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. Where's Keller, Dude, how man? How have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. <sighs> Out of the end. Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. What the fuck? Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So... You think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, mm. and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her No free. way yeah, that gets super racist. but you're going to write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my oh dad my about Katrina God. refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there, like, a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, I don't think it's a good idea to continue. I don't think it's a good idea to continue. One day, literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not gonna marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. There's no way we're gonna have like a, a French. Paper Giving head is a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see you guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip hop. Pop artists, if you could even call them that. This paper's gonna be so fucking easy. Oh, Nicole, no. I didn't know you were in AP history. Huh? No, I'm not in AP history. <laughs> then why are you reading Mein Kampf? <laughs> I'm racist now. Oh, all right. Man, Ari's cool about anything. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, <laughs> like, really good themes and a story. Big fan of the message in Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with you? <laughs> Why do they block MySpace on the Wi-Fi? Because you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler, F. F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. I'll give you the stink piece, motherfucker. How do you fail a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, and MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! 
D. Are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D and remedial, you're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh-huh. A. <gasps> A? A as in A or the loud at, or like the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like the letter? Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. As if, right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. Oh, With no. this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves oh, an audience, my God. if it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing <laughs> idea. No, Great. No. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. Oh, no. Oh, Why would they pick the no. cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California, where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. You're gonna. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Sarah, uh -oh. what does it make you hallucinate during the day? I'm gonna kill myself. Nicole! No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. Oh I was so my proud God. to hear a paper you did would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. I would actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star students. Hey, yo, oh, we need you with the sandwich trays. Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this so? remedial program. Right, and as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, What's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper, we think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right, so this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. Look at all these sexless marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got tempo at 3 o'clock. <clears throat> As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature <laughs> of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre owns itself to be a foreign people, yet even here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that... What is this again? Uh-oh. Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national consciousness of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers again slyly dupe the dumb masses... Politics are weird. <laughs> Like, really fucking weird.
Like, everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. <laughs> Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. What? Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up! The school itself was a problem too, because every guy watches South Park and Jews been like, the number one insult for the last 10 years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. I have a Neanderthal in a Let's chat. Speed, we have an ice dweller. You're around in the chat. Well, 16 months chills, and after dweller. watching this whole game, I can for sure say that's enough. Feel free to click on this subscribe button so you got a Twitch Prime months. available, huh? Ram, Ram, thank you for the 10 months. That's it. We're done. We're done. You sure you want to save the fight? Oh, wait. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Holy fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, take my watch. Just put the knife away. Just put the knife What was that? Huh? Kakarot, why am I you no know card sticky? <laughs> 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 <laughs>